بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن از لیڈرشپ وی ول سی اٹس ڈیفینیشنس واٹ از دا امپورٹنس آف لیڈرشپ دین دیر ول بی کمپوننٹس ان آور ڈسکشن ایٹ دا لاسٹ آف دس لیکچر واٹ آر کی فیچرس آف لیڈرشپ first we see what is uh, leadership a simple definition is that leadership is the art of motivating a group of people to act towards achieving a common goal means it is the art how people are motivated when they have to achieve their goals in a business setting this can mean directing workers and colleagues with a strategy to meet the company's need if we discuss regarding the business then we can say that leadership can direct workers its subordinates and colleagues how to give them directions regarding strategy and when they uh, have to deal with the strategies and workers and colleagues and company's needs have been met put even more simply the leader is the inspiration for and direction and director of the action if we can simply say that leader creates inspiration and he is the direction for the functions and actions of any organization they are the person in the group that possess the combination of personality and leadership skills to make others want to follow their directions other people's subordinates and persons working under the leadership they have to follow the directions of any leader then we can say that an effective leadership is a person who has the idea of following we can say that effective leadership has following characteristics number 1 creates an inspiring vision of the future regarding the future how he creates inspiring inspiration number 2 motivates and inspires people to engage with that vision the vision which has been inspired among the people among the subordinates that is motivated to engage when the people are engaged then they meet the needs of the society the third one is manages delivery of the vision how the leadership careers and inspires people then vision is delivered number 4 coaches and builds a team it is a responsibility of the leadership to coach and build a team so that it is more effective at achieving the vision when a team has been built then the vision could be achieved very effectively leadership brings together the skills needed to do these things we will look at each element in more details in coming our slides following components can be identified as central to the phenomena number 1 leadership is a process number 2 leadership involves influence number 3 leadership occurs in groups and number 4 leadership involves common goals leadership in business is the capacity of a company's management to set and achieve challenging goals take fast and deceive deceive actions when needed the competition and inspire others to perform at the highest level they can in the business industry or in other any in any other industry it is the capacity of the company's management how to set and how to achieve the goals which have been challenged how to take fast and deceive actions when these actions are required how to compete the world 
how to inspire others to perform at the highest level they can now we move towards the importance of leadership what is the importance of leadership number 1 leaders and their leadership leadership skills play an important role in the growth of any organization it is the leader and their skills leaders and leader their leadership skills it has very key role in the growth of any any organization leadership refers to the process of influencing the behavior of people in a manner that they strive willingly and towards the achievement of group objectives then we move a leader should have the ability to maintain good interpersonal relations with the followers or subordinates and and motivate them to help in achieving the organizational objectives now we can say that it is the ability of the leaders how they create interpersonal relations with their subordinates with the persons in the organization working and how to motivate them when the people the subordinates and the followers have been motivated then the organizational objectives have been can be achieved very easily now comes features of leadership influence of behavior of others this point can we can say that how leadership can influence the behavior of others leadership is an ability of an individual to influence the behavior of other employees in the organization to achieve a common purpose or goal so that they are willingly cooperate with each other for the fulfillment of the same here it is said that behavior of others can be changed by leadership and their leadership skills it is the ability of the leaders how they influence the behavior of their employees in any organization when the behavior of employees have been influenced then the common purpose or goals or objectives can be achieved by cooperating with each other then the other feature of leadership is interpersonal process it is an interpersonal process between the leader and the followers the leadership it is interpersonal process between which people between the leaders and the followers here followers mean the subordinates or the persons working under their leadership the relationship between the leader and the followers decide how efficiently and effectively the targets of the organization would be met we can say that it is the relationship between which the relationship is this is the relationship between the leader and followers means subordinates they both of them have to decide how to achieve the targets very efficiently and effectively then the other feature of leadership is attainment of common organizational goals <clears throat> the purpose of leadership is to guide the people in an organization to work towards the attainment of common organizational goal the leader brings the people and their effort together to achieve common goal it is the responsibility of the leadership how they guide the people in the organization uh, guidance relating to what the guidance relating the work towards the toward the achievement or attainment of common organizational goals it is the responsibility of the it is the responsibility of the leaders how they bring people he unites people and the leader brings their effort together to achieve the goals of any organization then the other feature is continuous process leadership is a continuous process a leader has to guide his employees every time and also monitor them in order to make sure that their efforts are going 
in the same direction and that they are not deviating from their goals it is we can say that leadership is a continuous process it is lifelong process for any organization it is a continuous process for the growth of any of any organization a leader guides his employees every time everywhere and he also monitors them in order to make sure that how their efforts are going if there is any if there is any discrepancy among the employees then a leader guides them gives them directions if they are going or if they are deviating from the goals then it is the responsibility of the leader to guide them then there is group process it is a group process that involves two or more people together interacting with each other a leader cannot lead without the followers leadership we can say here that leadership is a group process leader a leader alone cannot do anything he has to guide his followers he has to interact with his people with his team a leader cannot lead without the followers it means if his followers are not present there then how can he lead then comes dependent on the situation it is a situation bound as it all depends upon tackling the situation present the leadership is the situation bound it means he has to follow the people he has to follow the situation he has to see about the current situation what is going on thus there is no single best style of leadership so we can say that there is no single best style of leadership it means that there is no style of leadership as the leader has to follow the situation he has to follow the current position now we go to the next and last of this presentation the last items of this presentation that is key components of leadership there are eight key components of leadership number one dynamic communication number two challenge resolution number three emotional intelligence number four productivity number five influence and inspiring others number six developing positive and effective relationship number seven time management and number eight health or well very first component of the leadership is dynamic communication conversations take place at all levels of energy each paragraph each sentence and each word depending upon how it is said as well as everything that is not said out loud will impact leader's ability to engage his or her audience shift their energy and inspire the individuals to complete a task mission or journey it is the communication of the leaders with his employees with his subordinates with his colleagues the convert the communication or conversation it depends upon the energy levels what he is writing he is writing a paragraph he is writing a sentence or he is writing any kind of word it depends upon how it is said what is the level and what is the energy of that paragraph that sentence or that word as well as everything that is not said out loud will impact leader's ability to engage his or her audience all those words which are not said by him verbally or orally they also impact the leader's ability to engage his audience if he does not say anything verbally or orally he has to say these things in written form these impact shift their energy and inspire the individuals to complete a task mission or journey the other point that is 
challenge resolution life is cyclic at times you are accomplishing something substantial feeling confident and on top of the world at other times your life can be filled with different situations and people or a combination of all of them that complicate matters life is cyclic it means life is going on sometime we have to accomplish something substantially sometime we feel confident sometime we feel that we are going at the top of the world but on the other time we can say that life is filled with events we can say life is filled with different situations and people or a combination of all of them that complicate matters sometimes we can say that life is filled with people and combination of events situation or people and these complicate our matters a good leader faces challenges and tries to resolve these challenges then comes emotional intelligence emotional intelligence can be defined as our ability to distinguish understand and have a greater awareness of how our inner game of thoughts and feelings connect with our outward display of behaviors and actions as well as the ability to manage these thoughts and feelings to effectively lead how a leader is emotionally intelligent an intelligent leader is that who has the ability to distinguish to differentiate to understand to comprehend and he should have he or she should have a greater awareness of how their inner games of thoughts and feelings connect with their outward display of behavior and actions it means that how the thoughts and feelings are connected with the behaviors and actions and if a leader can understand how the thoughts and feelings are connected with the behaviors and actions then we can say that it is the ability to manage these thoughts and feelings to effectively lead if he can understand the thoughts and feelings and how to connect them with the behaviors and actions of others then we can say that he is effectively lead and he is a good leader then comes productivity getting things done achieving results requires effective use of resources available it also involves a leadership of using resources such as people capital and time productivity means productivity means how things are being produced things are being produced when a leader gets things done he can achieve results by requiring effective use of resources available a good leader is that who gets good results by available resources it also involves the leadership of using resources what are the available resources the available resources can be people can be personnel can be capital and time how he manages time how he directs or guides and uses people how to how he uses capital then productivity would be best how a leader influences others successful leaders focus less on what to say in order to get people to take action successful leaders are those who say and people get their actions people perform their actions in a well manner he is a successful leader instead effective leaders focus on how they can be in order to embody a message that inspires others to accomplish a task create a powerful relationship and join forces to complete a mission on the other hand we can say that effective leaders focus on the things 
they inspires their subordinates how to accomplish a task how to create power relationship and how to join forces when a leader is effective then we can say he is able to complete a mission then comes developing effective relationship our lives are a web of connecting relationships in the whole world our lives have been connected with each other as we know that is that it is a global world relationships brings us much joy and sometimes a great deal of pain and sorrow our relationships are always full of joys there should be pain there should be sorrows the ability to build a supportive team or tribe as well as minimize and manage draining relationship allows us to lead ourselves more effectively and then in turn others a good leader is that who has the ability to produce a team the team should be supportive the tribe should be supportive and by minimizing and managing relationship and this relationship allows them to lead to lead them more effectively and then in turn others then comes time management we are all created equal in that all of us have 24 hours in our days where we differ is how we view and use that time how we see time and how we invest our time directly impacts the success we shall have in all aspects of life it means that a good leader is that who can manage the time there are 24 hours in a day as we know how the difference should be how the time can be seen how this time can be invested directly how this time can impact on others and all aspects of life so that the missions of any industry or any organization can be achieved then comes health or wellness our health obviously affects our physical energy in life it is very important point that if we are well then we can perform the best when our bodies are functioning optimally we have the physical energy to work to play study and think it means that if our bodies are functioning very well then we have energies these energies can be utilized to work these energies can be utilized to play and these energies can be utilized to study and think in other words we have the energy to do the things that bring us success in whatever we measure it when we take care of our health we secure the last link in the chain of success to lead most effectively